Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you again. Look at the parking lot. Ain't but a couple cars up there. We on Lake Murray this morning. You can see the sun is way up here this morning already. Hey, we're running late, but it's slick calm out there. It's going to be a beautiful day. Sometimes on these uh, pretty days, they're hard to catch. You need some wind. You need a little bit of front coming in. But it's a high-pressure day. Beautiful. Just a beautiful fall day. You got a little steam coming off the water. And hey, the old boat's ready to go. And that's a boat. That boat right there is a fish catching machine. That's all I got to tell you. Hey, I want to go over a few things with you. I want y'all to look back here and I want you to see where I've got my transducer on the back of my boat and I got it sitting down below the boat a little bit. That way it reads going up the lake pretty fast and you got to tilt it forward just a hair. But uh, also, show you my setup. I've got a little selfie stick slides in that pipe right there. And that's what my setup is. And here's my little camera for, for my uh, my camera holder, selfie stick for my fish finder. <coughs> and of course, we got the slider jigs. I got them all over the boat all the time. Y'all will see it on every video. It's kind of trashy, but I can reach down and pick a jig up if I want to change colors. Also, uh, we like to use the little swimming minnow jig right by a two and an eighth inch swimming minnow. Can't beat it for Lake Murray. You got the uh, different colors. That right there's a three inch swimming minnow, and it works real well. But you got the inch and a half also. All three of those jigs will work on Lake Murray. And uh, of course, you know the Bobby Garlands is what I use uh, for the perch. I, love, I mean, for the uh, crappie, the different Bobby Garlands. But for the perch, that swimming minnow right there is a killer. Uh, Lake Murray, Lake Monticello. With an eighth ounce head, works real well. Uh, you don't want no bigger with the swimming minnow. Now you can get a bigger head with the with the three inch grub, and but the three inch grub works better on Lake Monticello because it's a little bit bigger shad over there than more bass hitting. But uh, all in all, you can't beat the two and an eighth inch swimming minnow from Charlie Brewer. You go to Charlie Brewer uh, fishing. Uh, Charlie Brewer, and I'll show it to you. Slider fishing. Uh, is where you go www charlie brewer slider fishing and uh and they'll set you up with all kind of jigs it's just a wonderful company caroline up there is a wonderful girl she'll look out for you and i'll promise you you'll catch more fish if you use the charlie brewer jigs you see what i'm doing with them also i've got a, a you know i added the power drive v2 to my trolling motor up here to make it a spot lock uh, it comes with a foot control, but when you add this to it, the foot control no longer works. So I, I only use the remote, and this is the remote that I use. Right here, it comes with it. I paid about $350 to add this piece and wire it in to my old trolling motor. I called Minn Kota and give them the serial number on my trolling motor to make sure that it, they had a that this part would fit on it. So I added all that to it. What I like about this boat, and this trolling motor, you see this extra room on this side of the boat? I can step over that and put my foot on here and my knee on here and I can get out the boat. A lot of trolling motors take up the whole area here. What I like about this one, it gives me a little room on this side to have access to my boat. If not, I'd have to have one of them ladders they build to go on the trailers to go in. But just a little tip from the old fisherman. And there's my old trusted drum. I throw my fish in. I fill it about half full of water and they swim around there just like a live well. And I like it better because I can get my fish out at the end of the day. If you put them in a live well, you got to reach in there and get them out one at a time. I catch too many fish for that, folks. So I can dip my net in that drum and pull my fish out and dump them in the ice chest. And it makes it simpler. I like simple. Life is about simple. Being happy with less. You can overdo, but this boat right here, not a really expensive boat. I think new is probably around $20,000, 17 foot. It's got a little 60 mercury on it, go about 40 mile an hour. It's all you need. It's the ride of a big boat, a big fiberglass boat where you have to have 150. I'm going 40 mile an hour. That's all the fast the old fisherman needs to go. I know where I'm going. I don't need to run up and down the lake all day and I'm not fishing tournaments. So this boat right here is ideal. And it's got the revolutionary hull. And of course it's stained up. You can get them, it's painted white on the bottom. Uh, it's stained up, but I can take aluminum cleaner and clean it, but ain't no need because I have it right back dirty again. 
but it's just a wonderful little boat uh, for one man. And you notice how good it works for the old fisherman. Hey, let's go fishing and see what we can do. Oh, Lake Murray, loving life, and you better love life. You don't know how much more you got of it. Hey, let's go fishing. the old fisherman back with you on Lake Murray. We just throwed out without turning on the camera and one took it. Already got a stripe on this morning. Pretty nice one. Pretty nice one. Already got one this morning. How y'all this morning? Hope you're okay. We're gonna try to catch some. We got rain coming in and they spitting out shad. See them little shad they spit out right there? Hey. That means they're in here feeding. That's what that means, and that's a good thing. But anyhow, hey, glad you could be with the old fisherman on another episode of Loving Life. And uh, hey, we are definitely loving life. First fish of the day, you got to love it. By the 20 inch stripe, we got to throw him back. All right, let's see if we can get a nothing. See if we can get them nothing. Maybe they ain't here feeding this morning. We can catch them. Now he had shad he's spitting up, so they ain't here feeding. I can, I can tell you that much. They ain't here feeding. Might have to just troll through here and catch them. Might be the way to do it. That's why I was doing him. I was just kind of trolling along. Uh, they probably up, see. He's already had two little shad in his belly. We're gonna troll around here. We get on them. All right, folks. We're doing a come live circle spin here, a swing, and uh, I think we got a couple fish coming in. They're bumping it. We're trying to activate them in one area. That's what I'm trying to do: activate them. Spinning this boat one spot and working these jigs different directions. What we're trying to do. See if we can make something bite. So far, fish ain't doing nothing. We caught one striper, no perch. Hopefully we can get on some perch in a minute. I believe we can. Sooner or later, they're gonna move in here. I 
start feeding, I think, because we got bait in here, a lot of bait. We got overcast condition with rain coming in. They ought to bite, but it got warmer. I tell you, cool weather is what we need. It got warmer, and that is not good. Every time it gets warmer, they seem not to bite as good. They ain't hitting. I thought I was going to catch some of the circle swing, but now I don't know. Oh, either we're going to move. They're bumping it, but they ain't taking it. Either. Finally caught one. Probably a dog on striper. There's a nudding. I told you I was, they was moving in here. There's a nudding. We got three, probably all of them stripers. No, there's one perch. We got two perch and a striper. Look at that. Two perch and a striper. That perch I'm seeing the whole time, they're not real big. But we got two, two perch and a striper. A uh, little baby striper. What we got? We got to stir them up in here. We get them going. It's all about activating them. I'm telling you right now, that's what it's about. Let's go with let's go with the boom daddy rod. I like catching them on a boom daddy. Let's see if we can get them to bite boom daddy. Right here. Put this off to the side. Take the boom daddy out there. See what happens. Alright, let's see what bone daddy will do. It's limber on in, it's fun to catch them with the bone daddy. Fun to catch them. We just got to get them activated. That's all it's to it. They like the beating of the boat that brings them in. Only thing Bone Daddy's got some braid line on. I ain't crazy about this braid line, but I mean it does good, but we'll see if we can catch them with it. Oh, there he goes. First first pull with him. See how he bends on the end? That's why I like Bone Daddy right there. That joker bends on the end. Oh, he got all dog going out was a good one too. That was a perch. Big perch. Got off, doggone it. We're gonna stay right here and activate these fish. In a circle. What we're gonna do? That's the key. Activation. Let's see if we can catch another on old boom daddy. There he is. He already hit it. There he is again. He got it again. Hey, we got him coming in, stirring them up now. We got him stirring up now. That's a little one though. Perch, so stirring them up, they just ain't big, kind of a small size. Get it back out. All about activation now, I'm telling you. Get them going. They here, they just got to come to you. It ain't you going to them, it's them coming to you. Stirring them up, stirring the pot. That's what it's about. Stirring the pot. There you Oh, there he is again. Hey, we got him stirred now. That's a good enough. That's a good enough. Huh? That's a good enough. Oh, it's a darn striper. That's why he's pulling something. Striper. Why did you know he took it too? He swallowed it. Oh, come out. He swallowed it. Oh, goodness. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. We're going to catch a lot of fish today, I think. I thought they're gonna bite ahead of this rain coming in here. A lot of times the fish don't bite real early. You got to get a little up into the day a little bit before they really get start feeding. We know the bait's in here because that first striper I caught was spitting out shad. There he is. We got them out there now. They starting to bite now. They get hungry now, so they just ain't the right size yet. A little, a little perch. Baby perch, baby perch, we're going to let them go, we're going to try to cull them out and get decent ones, we're going to try, we got a bunch of them coming in here now, we got a bunch of them coming in here now, they're all over the bottom out there, they're all mixed up in here, what are they doing, we're going to catch them too, they're stirring up, starting to feed, you can see them coming in, see that, see that, there goes another there goes a nut. We got three this time. We got three this time. It's funny how them jokers go to feed. Stir them up. Look at that. Three at a time. And all of them white perch. What? All of them white perch. But they're not, they're not dogs. They're not super dogs. They're just simply 
a, a barely each size white perch. What they are. Barely each size white perch. Just hit them wrapped up around the whole world and back. Mom Daddy Ben drop back out. I mean, 25 foot of water. Perch just ain't the right size. The big ones got to move in. Where's the big ones? Plenty of little ones in here. Plenty of little ones. Oh, didn't get one that time. Might not get to the bottom. Drop back out. To the bottom. Where the big girls lie. There he goes. There he goes. Look at him. Look at old Bone Daddy. What? Look at old Bone Daddy. Ain't but one, though. Ain't but one. Come in here, boy. Come in here, little perch. All right, let's drop back out. Where most people make the, the mistake is they pull in the boat just long, straight. You got to pull your boat in circles. You got to beat the boat. You got to dry it. You got to bring them in. It calls them in. Beating the boat calls them in. I'm telling you. See that? It calls them in. It calls them in. You got to beat that boat with his perch. Get them going. There you go. Oh, missed it. There he goes again. Got him again. Little ones. Little ones. I'm, ho I'm thinking the big ones might be up higher and maybe I need to pull it up slower. That ain't too bad. Hey, we take that side. Eat side. Calm down. That's the eating side. Okay, now we're getting a, a bunch of them on 25 foot. We're stirring the pot. Start activating them. Just ain't the right size. I wish they was bigger. That's the only thing. Monticello seems to have bigger perch in it. Now, sometimes you get big ones in Lake Mary, though. Sometimes. Look at that one right there. Way up here. Oh, he got all. Joked is it up here high? They all in here, but they just little. Come on, big boys. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? <sighs> Boy, you hit it hard. We want we in search of the jumbo magnum, not the baby magnums. These are baby magnums. Huh. We in search of the jumbo magnum. They they hit me, they they little little fish. Let me check my jigs. Ain't nothing wrong with jigs, they ain't got a fish on them, what's what's wrong with them? Somewhere in here, right around this area, is some big perch. I'm telling you, we just got to get the right spot. They might be mowing in. There's no telling where them big perch are. There's no telling. There goes one. There goes one. Do it, Bone Daddy. Do it, Bone Daddy. There goes another. I believe we got two on that. Maybe three. We might have three on that at this point. I don't know. Yeah, uh oh one just got off. We had three. We had two perch and a striper. Now we got one perch and one little striper. Oh, and he fell off. Oh, we're going right. These are little perch, so I'm telling you, they're little perch. We're going to throw him back. We're going to throw him back. He's a little. All right, little striper. Get your butt back in. Them things are so slick, so spiny, and they won't set still for you. All right, folks. We done move way up the river here, and we're gonna try to catch a few perch up the river. Went to my honey hole over there, and was boats all in it, so I just come to a brand new spot I never fished here before. Give them a shot, see what we can find. I see some fish down here, I don't know what size they are. There's some fish in here, plenty of fish in here, in this creek. See if we can get them to bite. See if we can stir them up. size they're going to be. It might not even bite. There he is. They're up high. They suspended. 
know what they are. They might be stripers. Big old perch. Look at that. Big old perch. Got a boat's all in here. Get some more of them. Might be suspended. I don't see them now. We got too shallow. We got to get back out in the creek and run. What we got to do? We got to get back out in the creek. I believe there's some fish in here. I believe we can catch some in here. Hey. We just got to get on. I bleed in here. Nice ones too. That is a nice one. Might be a striper. Whatever it is, a nice one. I'll tell you that. Got to be a striper. No, it ain't. Two perch. We didn't got into the perch. What well, we done done? We didn't got into the perch. There ain't no super dog magnums yet, but there's a bunch of them here. We're gonna catch them in here. We're gonna catch them in here. Brand new play. Way up the river. They all in here, 21 foot. Piles of them. Piles of them. I mean, piles of them. Look at the going. Look at the going. Oh my, look at the going. We're gonna lay it to them in here, folks. We're gonna lay it to them. What? Look at him. They ain't no big ones though, they are kind of a medium size. Got plenty of them. Medium size perch. Hop her back out to the bottom where the big girls lie. They all in here. We're gonna fill in another load of perch. Hope some big ones in here. Big time. They out there big time. Catch a bucket load in here. That's a good one. Three of them. <sighs> Three of them. Alright folks. Drop it back out. See if we can catch another one or two. fish in here we just got to catch them I mean bunches of them too they on fire in here they on fire that's a pretty good one too that's a pretty good one hey hey got back down to the bottom with a big girl like right in the back of a cove where it makes a turn the creek makes a turn and the wind blowing right in here it's just a perfect situation and they out there too, buddy. Oh, Lord. They out there. There's a bunch of perch in here. They all over the place. They all over the place, folks. We're going to catch a pile of them today. I'm trying to weed them out. They ain't no super dogs, but they plenty of them. Let me tell you, they are plenty of them in here. Plenty of them, and they killing it. They killing it. 21 foot of water. 21 foot. They all over the place. Fast you can throw it down. Look at that. All over the place. I mean, they shallow out there too. They all in here. And they hungry. They hungry. So little. Got to be some big ones in there, don't y'all wreck? Where the big ones at? They all over the bottom. Everywhere. There you go. A little. 
There you go. There you go. It's not big ones. They're just not big ones. They're little. They're little, and they millions of them out there. Quadzillions and quadzillion small too. Take it. There goes a nice one. There goes a nice one. I hope. Yeah, he's not bad. Hey, folks, a little bit we just call it a jumbo magnum. See if we can catch another one. I'm a big one. Didn't have the camera going. We just caught a big one. See if we can stir them up. They up here suspended. That's what they're doing. Pound purchase, kind I've been looking for. Hoping some more of them out there. We found a bunch of perch over there in the cove. Little ones. All of them are little ones. Caught a pile of them. We just left them. I could have caught a bucket load of them. But uh, I'm looking for the bigger fish, the bigger perch, what we want. The jumbo magnums, what we're looking for. We can stir some up in here. <clears throat> Got 
state one. There he was, and I missed him. I missed him. Catch more like I just caught. I'd be happy. They hitting at it, but they ain't taking it. I don't want it. Some out there. Stir them up. Just ain't taking it. They ain't taking it. There he goes. I ain't no. I don't know. That might be a nice one. That might be another nothing. See that out there? You just got to make them bite. That's the problem. Got to put them in a feed. Got two of them. One of them's a nice one. One of them's a nice one. Huh? One of them's a nice one. Oh, it's a medium. Hello folks, pull in another area in here and I see a lot of fish out there. Let's see if we can catch one of them. I don't know if they're stripers or what they are, but there's a bunch of them out here. We got one on. I think they're probably stripers. I don't know. Yeah, they stripers. They stripers, bunches of them. Bunches of them. Oh, gone, he's pulling. Look at that. Oh, gone striper. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, Lord. Whole school of them. I don't know if there's any perch out here or not. Plenty of stripers, it looks like. You see him right there. We're going to throw him back over here. All right, folks. I'm about out the picture here. I can get it around here a little bit more. Let's see if we can catch another one of them jokers. some perch in here. There's plenty of stripers in here I think. Let's see if we can get the perch going. He's pulling. He's pulling. He's pulling. Oh my. There might be a perch. Oh yeah. Three perch. Oh my. Perch is in here too. How about that folks? Three of the time. Lake Murray. at a time. Throw him back a little small. Okay. I believe we own something here. I believe we own something here. Let's drop it down at the bottom where the big girls lie. There he is. They're up high is where they're at. They're up high. Off the bottom. Perch too. There he is. There he goes. There he goes. Perch too. Still not big ones though. Still little ones. Hey, doggone it. They hitting it. They must be really little. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. That's a nice one. A little bit better. Not much, but a little bit. A little bit better. Drop it to the bottom where the little ones are. We, uh, we still catching them. They ain't that big. This here might be a nice one. Oh, several of them. Oh, he's barely got two of them. Two pretty nice ones. Right here. Two pretty nice ones. I tear up my jig. There's one. 
There's one. They up is what they are. They ain't on the bottom. They up high. That's a nice one. That's a good one. That's the kind we're looking for right there. Big old perch. A jumbo magnum right there. Get it back out there and get another. There he goes. Hoping we're gonna get him done. Boy got it in. Only got one, but he's a nice one. I'll tell you that. He's a good one. That's the kind we're looking for right there. Getting a little bit better. Hey, they getting a little bit better out here. Deeper. 